What up everybody, this is Scott Takai and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to edit high resolution footage on a laptop faster. So if you're like me, broke and can't afford a desktop computer and edit off of a laptop instead, you've probably tried editing higher resolution footage, but since you're editing on a laptop, it just ends up lagging a lot. So I'm going to be showing you guys a little method that will allow you to edit the footage faster. So what you're going to do is you're going to open up Media Encoder CC, and then you're going to take the folder with all of your clips. I'm going to click on it and then go all the way to the bottom and hold on shift. Hold, click on the bottom one so that it highlights all of them and then you're going to drag it onto the queue and now we wait all right now that everything is done being imported into media encoder what we're going to do now is we're going to select all select all there we go and then what you're going to do is you're going to click on preset and click on ok so what that's gonna do is it's gonna open up the export settings menu. What we're gonna do next is go to the preset. And we're gonna choose something with a lower resolution. Let's go with YouTube 720p. And then you're gonna to wanna to make sure that the format is H.264. And then notice how at the bottom it says 26 megabytes. And what we're gonna do next is go in the video menu, scroll down, and we're gonna to go to target and maximum bitrate. Just change that to, let's go with two. So now our file sizes are gonna be a lot smaller, which means that our computer is gonna be able to handle it better. And we're gonna click on OK. And because we selected all on all of the clips, all of these settings that we just put is gonna be applied to all of the footage. So what we're gonna do next is we're gonna click on output file, and then we're gonna to go to the same folder where all of our video clips are at. And then we're gonna create a new folder called proxy. I already created one, so that's why it's already here. And then you're gonna click on choose. And that'll set it so that all of the clips are gonna be put in the same place. and then they're going to be exported in the same resolution and then after that you're just going to click on the play button and it's going to start exporting all of them into the settings that we set and when the clips are done exporting they're going to be put into the folder that we originally set them at and now we have our folder of proxy clips so just to show you guys a side-by-side -side comparison the stuff on the left is the straight out of camera files and then on the right is the files that we just created with the smaller file sizes so what you're going to be doing is you're going to be editing your video together with the footage on the right and then when you have an edit locked in you're going to relink it to the clips that are on the left and i will show you how to do that right now so what we're going to do is go into the timeline go up to edit and click on select all and then you're going to right click on it and push on make offline put ok so now that we offlined all of our files we're going to go over to the clip folder double click on it we're going to select all right click and go to proxy and reconnect full resolution media then it's going to bring up a menu of all the clips that are offline we're going to click on attach the one the first the one that we're doing is clip 89 so now we're going to go to the folder that has our full resolution clips and clip 89 push on ok and bam. Okay, so now our proxy clip is reconnected to the full resolution clip. And you can see here 89 underscore one, that was our proxy file name. And then the regular clip name is clip 89. And unfortunately the catch here is that you have to reconnect all the clips manually. You can't actually have it do it all at once, which is why I'm not gonna show you how to do the whole thing. So I'm just gonna click on skip all. So let's just pretend that this timeline has a fully edited video on it and we just relinked all the proxy stuff to the full res stuff. All of the clips will be blue, but since we only did one, only one is blue. And then you know, look at the metadata and look at the resolution, make sure that we did it correctly. It's at 3840, 2160, so we did do it correctly. And since we were editing using 720 proxy files, I'm gonna show you guys really quick the sequence settings. The sequence settings is currently at 720. So what we're gonna do now since we relinked everything is we're going to change the sequence settings we're going to put it to custom and you can put it to whatever you want but in my case i'm i normally just put everything at 1080 push ok push ok again so what that's going to do is we're going to have the sequence settings at the resolution that we want and then since this is a 4k clip on a 1080 timeline the clip is actually bigger than the timeline which is why it's zoomed in like this and to fix this it's very simple all you have to do is select all right click it and click on scale to frame size and it'll go back to the original framing that we had it at 
So that's how you edit higher resolution footage faster on a laptop. This method does require a little bit more work, but it makes the workflow a lot smoother. So that's the video for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed that one. Please leave a like and check out all the other videos that I make because I make plenty more just like this one. And I gotta go take a piss. So I'm gonna wrap this up right now.